Going to the chapel, issue 1 sees a gang of Elvis mask wearing robbers prepare to enter a church, where a wedding is currently taking place, intending on robbing the wedding party blind. Four hours earlier, the bride-to-be Emily is having reservations about walking down the aisle, and both her frustrated father and drunken mother aren't helping either. Soon one of the bridesmaids comes to tell her it's time for her makeup session as her father yells about getting a thousand doves for the reception. Emily asks her grandma Harriet for advice, but she merely tells her a monogamy is overrated and to always have a side piece ready. Emily's sister Lucy notices her concern, wondering what's got her down, and Emily says that she's just thinking about her soon-to-be husband Jesse, and if he's really the right one for her. Lucy asks if she likes him, and she does, and if he's nice to her, and he is, so she doesn't understand why Emily is worrying and it will all be over before she knows it. Two hours before, Jesse is at a bar with some friends, celebrating his pending nuptials. Despite being at the bar, Jesse is still doing his architectural work, and his friend BJ asks what he's drawing this time, and Jesse says that he's working on his best architectural project yet. A news report plays on the TV, with BJ telling the bartender to turn it up as it's talking about Emily, the daughter of CEO Arthur Anderson, and how she's getting married that afternoon, and Emily is expected to be wearing the Heart of Dresden, a $250 million necklace. Another bar patron takes note, saying that's quite the necklace, and keeping a thing like that locked up is just criminal. The man goes to meet Jesse, hearing that he's the one marrying Emily, asking if it's intimidating for him to be marrying a woman like that, and he must be pretty important, like a doctor or something. Jesse introduces himself to the man, who says his name is Tom after warning Jesse that diamonds aren't forever. Tom buys Jesse a drink, congratulating him and reminding him of the golden rule, never take your eyes off the score. In the present, the wedding is underway and everyone listens to the priest begin the wedding vows. Jesse says I do, but before Emily can call it off, the bad Elvis gang knock down the door, taking everyone hostage and demanding they put all their valuable into the provided bags. Gang members Motown and Romero look after the crowd as Vegas watches the door. The leader goes to Emily, but Jesse tries to protect her, getting cold cocked by the robber's shotgun. Before the robber can shoot him, Emily stops him, and the robber wants the Dresden necklace, but she doesn't remember where it is. Taking the woman, the robber heads into the back, intent on having a little chat with Emily to see if he can jog her memory. Lucy meanwhile helps Jesse, who wants to go after the robber since he has taken his wife. Vegas tries to take Grandma Harriet's jewelry, but she presses her life alert bracelet. Elsewhere at the Rockford County Dispatch, the police get a call about the bracelet alarm. Since no one is answering the phone it is linked to, the dispatch tells the sheriff it is coming from St. Jude's Church, making him remember what is happening there today. Emily meanwhile tells the robber to get what he needs and leaves, and he removes his mask, revealing himself to be Tom from the bar a man Emily actually knows. Tom says that he didn't just come here to rob them, but also to stop Emily from making the biggest mistake of her life. The other robbers hear the cops arrive, surrounding the church as Emily kisses Tom. Going to the chapel issue 1 was a really fun Tarantino-esque story with a really cool twist at the end of the issue that I really didn't see coming at all. I do like the idea of this woman, Emily, feeling I guess kind of trapped by her wealthy family's life and she's looking for a little bit of excitement, something she will no doubt get from what is I guess her ex-boyfriend Tom. We will probably find out in issue 2 about that. I'm really looking forward to where this premise will go now that we're in a hostage situation and how the bad Elvis gang will escape from the tense situation. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Issue